The volcano-loving hikers got everything they wanted and more when the ground started shaking, and they knew the mountain of fire was bound to erupt any second. So, maybe they actually wanted to be that close to an erupting volcano. And the lighting was perfect too, it was like barely nighttime. That would have been beautiful. Until the lava flow starts heading your way. <laughs> What's good, y'all? This is Kyle with BC. So you could probably guess who I am. In this video, we're going to be watching uh, One in a Million Moments in Nature. I like seeing natural phenomena. Hope you do too. It's entertaining. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I would hope that you take the next couple seconds to get down there and do so. Done? All right, thank you. Uh, but let's get straight into this video. On December 27th of 2021, Brad Atchison was trekking through the snowy trails of Shannon Falls when he found a stream flowing through the ice. Then he noticed something was off, like the water was disappearing before his very eyes. It gets pretty cold up in British Columbia, cold enough to turn water into ice in the blink of an eye. What looks like Hollywood magic is a natural occurrence called phrasal ice. Brad watches as the baby blue stream freezes before his eyes, tracing back toward the logs in the distance. If you didn't know any better, you'd think a fresh patch of snow had just fallen on the ground. Phrasal ice forms when water drops rapidly in temperature and hovers around its freezing point. Wind and river flow mix the water from top to bottom, and tiny phrasal ice crystals sink to the floor. From there, the crystals multiply like cells in your body. Some say upwards of a million crystals per cubic meter. Eventually, enough of them appear to cover the water and boom, instant ice. Now, you'd be lucky to catch phrasal ice occurring in nature. If Brad had stopped to tie his shoe, he probably would have missed it. Shit, that looked hard. Shit, I ain't never seen that in, in nature. I see it all the time when I freeze water though in the water bottles and then you take it out and shake it a little bit kind of does that same thing but uh yeah i didn't know that happened in nature pretty dope some avid hikers were out for a stroll when a tall dust devil touched down ahead of them they filmed the silly little storm thinking they'd get a fun video to post on their socials then they got a little something extra from mother nature The dust devil crests over the sand dune and heads down the hill. Our hikers watch it get closer, knowing the tiny sand tornado doesn't pose any threat. Out of nowhere, the volcano in the distance erupts in a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
what are the odds of them filming this exact spot when the volcano blew its lid? Now, there is some discrepancy online over which volcano they were filming, Mount Fuego or Akatenango. But seeing how Akatenango last erupted in 1972, we're going to go out on a limb and say that this was Mount Fuego letting off a little steam. Hopefully, these hikers bought a lottery ticket when they made it back to town. It would be nice to see a volcano erupt from a distance to where it's not going to affect your life at all. But shit, that was pretty dope. Uh, and then the dust devil or whatever they said that was. I didn't know that they got that high up in the air. But I mean, it is a column of air. It's like a tornado, kind of. But very small and can't hurt you. Oh well. Glenn Ratcliffe was hanging out at his home in Trinity, Texas, when a thunderstorm roared overhead. Lightning struck a hollow tree in his yard, but instead of bursting into pieces, the tree caught fire from the inside. Glenn walks outside and gets up close and personal with the burning tree. The perfect crack down the middle lets him see inside as red-hot wood burns like a Christmas fire. Then Glenn steps around the tree to find flames billowing out of a hole. Thankfully, the fire never spread to the neighboring tree as the winds were pretty calm that afternoon. According to the California Parks Department, lightning isn't the only thing that can set the inside of a tree on fire. When wildfires roll through, duff or debris at the tree's base burns hotter and longer. It eventually bores into the trunk and burns the tree from the inside. Yeah, but if a wildfire does it, it's not that special. Because you expect shit like that to happen. Lightning striking it and it burning like that from the inside. And there's no other fire around. That's hella cool. They look like somebody made that for a movie or something. Again, dope. A group of Japanese hikers thought they'd try one of Fukuda's mountains and hiked up the Kitakama Ridge. But Mother Nature had other ideas that day, and a freak earthquake turned their leisurely hike into a terrifying experience. Damn. おっつけよ。立ち上がりね。壁に捕まってると落ちるよ。上。まだ来てるよ。すごい崩れてるよ。あ、槍のところも煙がね、結構すごいね。Four hikers get trapped on a steep incline as rocks rain down. The woman below screams in fear and clings on for dear life. In her mind, this whole thing could come crashing down at any second. She eventually regains her composure and the cameraman focuses on the other side of the mountain. You can see dust rising off the side from where other rocks rolled to the bottom. Shit, the way that mountain was looking, it looked like all the rock was loose. I wouldn't have wanted to take another damn step, <laughs> but they had to hike back to civilization. I would have been scared that whole damn time. I ain't messing with no mountain. While hiking on Mount Fuego, a group of tourists got the opportunity to watch it erupt right in front of them. Whoa. 
They either knew something was coming or were recording at the right time. Seconds into the video, the volcano erupts, and excitement overtakes one of the girls. She jumps up and down as the bright orange lava shoots from the mouth and spills down the sides. Someone in that group must feel a little panicked. As cool as it looks, we're sure nobody wants to be that close to an erupting volcano. A native Guatemalan who was raised in the US booked an expedition in January of 2020. They got within 150 meters of the erupting crater, which required a two-day hike up through the mountains. The volcano-loving hikers got everything they wanted and more when the ground started shaking, and they knew the mountain of fire was bound to erupt any second. So, maybe they actually wanted to be that close to an erupting volcano. That would have been a nice sight to see, once in a lifetime. And the lighting was perfect too, it was like barely nighttime. That would have been beautiful. Until the lava flow starts heading your way, <laughs> or one of those flaming rocks flies at you. That was too damn close. It was beautiful, but that was a close one. I guess that's the end of that video. They had a little bit of extra in there. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that, please. But until next time, y'all, take it easy.